Thanks, Tony. Not here today. Um, you're probably aware it's transfer deadline day, and there's obviously a lot going on at the club. You know, it's, it's you know all day yesterday till late. Since early this morning, we've had just tr had training, and there's still a lot. You know, we're still got uh, a few hours yet to go. So th there's a lot going on, and, and the manager's obviously heavily tied up. Basically, that's that's the answer to that. What's your reaction to the, the confirmed signing so far, Wayne Hennessy uh, and, and Jason Function, of course, with a permanent deal? Well, we're delighted, obviously, to, 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 to do those deals. Um, but we are still trying to do some more. I can't you know, say that that's going to actually happen, but hopefully that's going to happen. You know, the, everybody at the club's working hard to, um, you know, to do it or to do some deals. And um, you know, hopefully that'll happen. So, but we're very pleased with the, with the ones you've just mentioned. I'm making through a couple of individual names, if that's OK. Scott, Dan, training ground for, for talks. What, what is the situation or what's the latest with them? Um, well, we, I can't announce anything yet because obviously it's, it's not done. I mean, it's like any any deal, as you say, the, the players here, um, and but still ongoing. Uh, as soon as there's something to announce, uh, you know, we'll do that. There's been talk Cardiff might come in for him. Is it, is it positive, I suppose, that he is here at, at this training ground with you? Is that, do you see that yeah, I mean, as I say, that there, there are a number of uh, deals ongoing, but until they cross the line, that's just what they are. They're, they're ongoing deals. I mean. Uh, uh, obviously, I'd like to sit here and announce we've done this, done that, and th whatever it is. But at the moment, we're not in that situation. Um, you know, the two players you mentioned have, uh, have signed, so they're the ones. And then, hopefully, later, you know, by tonight, hopefully we can add to that. I appreciate you're in that position, but Thomas says that the talk is there's been a hitch, but negotiations are ongoing. What is the, the situation with, with Tom Hinskins? With Tom well, he's, he's close, <laughs> uh, but as I say, it's, it's ongoing. I'm not in those negotiations right now. I mean, I, I have spoken to the player, but not uh, where, where we're at now. Um, and so I, I honestly can't, you know, tell you where, where that's at at the moment. But uh, you know, we're still in the frame. Put it that way. Can I clarify the deal close, or is it close to the training? Both. <laughs> I don't expect anything, and you know, football's a, you know, in this situation and on, on this day in particular, a lot seems to go on, and uh, this club's no different from any other. And uh, as I say, I'd like to sit here and announce we've done this, that, and the other, but at the moment, I can't do that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'd like to be able to say that's going to happen, but uh, you just never know. Well, you might be able to confirm Ivan Ramos, the top was here, field the medical, and that field is, is now there. Can you confirm that? Uh, no, I can't conf confirm that. But uh, you know, the, the, the player has been here, you know, for negotiation. Has been here for a medical. Where that's at, again, um, you know, that will all become clear by say, 11 o'clock tonight. Typical transfer deadline there. There's always a bit of intrigue. A car with a Spanish number that drove past us earlier, and somebody in the, the front seat with a coat over their head. Well, the <laughs> who, who, was, who was that? What, with the coat over their head? I, I, don't, I don't know, but. Uh, <laughs> You know, did you say that all that goes on, and everybody's watching the gates to see who comes and who goes, and, and trying to get a sniff of what's happening. Um, but as I say, it's it, that's deadline day. Last question about deadline day. I know there is a big game on, on Sunday, but um, I don't know. Can you speculate how many more could come in, or how many deals you're currently? Uh, uh, maybe, maybe two, may, maybe three. I don't know. Maybe one, maybe none. That, that's 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 where we're at. Um, you know, but obviously it's difficult. We've got to we've got to focus, as you just pointed out, on uh, on Arsenal on Sunday, um, and you have all this going on as well. So it's a, it's a strange time of the year. It's a, it's a it's a it's a strange day. Well, you know, it's a strange couple of days certainly, uh, as we come to the end of the window. You've made life difficult for, for some of the the top sides, the top three, Chelsea and, and Manchester City, going to their places. What is the key to making life difficult for the? Well, we have to set ourselves up to, to, you know, to make ourselves difficult to play against. But at the same time, certainly um, uh, in probably Man City and Tottenham, we've gone there and actually, actually, I mean, had Chelsea to actually, uh, and um, played very well, and, and uh, maybe could and should have got something out, out of all of those games. That's been the disappointment to us is that we haven't um, got something out of the game, played well without getting something out of it, and that'll obviously be the target on Sunday to actually, you know, go go beyond that, go to a, one of the bigger clubs. Play well, but actually uh, get some kind of reward. What sort of mindset does Marlon Schmack have going into a game like this? First time uh, back at the Emirates, has he a, has he a point to prove? Uh, well, I, I think as a footballer, you've got a point to prove every time you play. 
Um, you'd have to ask him how he feels about go, going back there. But uh, yeah, I'm sure it's a, you know, it's a big game. I'm sure he want to do well. But that's that's the case, uh, you know, every week.